Hello, who's this? This is Ray from Fort Lauderdale. What's your question for you, mama? Okay, I've been with this dude for like a year and a half, and like lately, he's been like looking through my stuff, uh. my cell phone when I was sleeping. He went through my iPad yesterday because I left it at his house. Oh my goodness. He went through my pictures, through everything, and then he's like, I'm not mad at you. I don't know how to feel about the situation. And like, we're taking But what, what did he find? Together. He says, I like attention. So when I can't get attention from him, I just be like, well, somebody else will give me attention. Like, I don't want nobody else. Did he find anything that was incriminating? Be honest. Kind of. Okay. It, it was people trying to talk to me. It wasn't really me doing anything. And I do feel like it's dangerous sometimes when people go through your phone because they can misconstrue things when they look through it. You know, it's, it is a very private and personal thing. What about if you went through his phone? Have you ever done that? No, I don't go through his stuff. There's one of two things here. Either, number one, you're making him feel very insecure for some reason with some of your actions. Or, second thing could be that he's cheating on you and therefore he's very paranoid. It, it might be the first one. It might be the first one. Because my best friend is like, y'all are together just accept the fact y'all been together for a year and a half. So I'm like, well, if you don't give me a title, then you can't really expect for me to just be like, oh, okay, we together. No, we're okay, so together. he's not officially your man. Yes. Because he doesn't want to give a title to it. Thank you. Well, then that's on then him. He's not your man, so you could do whatever you want. So he's going through your stuff, but he's not trying to claim you. You can't have it both ways, boo. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. You got to let him know, and, but you have to let him know, look, and you can't lie to him either and act like you're not doing nothing if you are doing stuff. You got to let him know, look, if you don't want to be my man, then you can't really expect me to not talk to other people or go out with other people. But when you're ready to settle down and everything, I'm ready for that. But something weird happened yesterday, though. What happened? Like, I woke up and he was, like, pushing on my stomach. He said it was moving while I was sleeping. Your stomach? What? Yeah. Like so I he guess, thinks you're pregnant? Know. You need to exercise. I don't know what he thinks. <laughs> he sound a little insecure, though. Can you, can you deal with somebody that's insecure? It's been a year and a half. I'm not going nowhere. A year and a half ain't that long. And y'all live together? We have at one point in time. How y'all gonna live together but you're not his girl? I don't understand that. He was trying to get his stuff together. So I was just like, well, come stay with me while you get your stuff together. But now he got his own house, like, three times. Like, he's sick with him. Well, y'all need to sit down and decide what you're doing with your relationship. Is it exclusive? Are you boyfriend and girlfriend? Y'all need to figure that out first and foremost. He can't say nothing to you about what you do until y'all figure that out. Okay. But in the meantime, you can't lie. No lies. All right. Good luck. Thanks. Well, it's Ask Yee. If you need relationship advice or any type of advice, call Yee right now. 800-585-1051. It's The Breakfast Club. We're in the middle of Ask Yee. Hello, who's this? Justin. Justin, what's your question for you, bro? How how you get rid of feelings for an old side piece that you had? You had feelings for your side piece. Yeah. So you had a main chick. You were in love with your side piece. I would I wouldn't say necessarily in love. It just it started getting a little bit. It was supposed to be fun at first, but it started getting a little bit more complicated than it was supposed to be. Okay. And, uh, and then she left you because she saw that she was never going to leave your main chick. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's pretty much what it was. And you would rather be with your main chick, right? Oh, of course, of course. It just I just. You know, them thoughts, you got them thoughts in your back of your head, like, not necessarily what if, but like, you know what I'm saying, what's up, like what? So you, you miss the convenience of having your side piece there for you every yeah. now and then, because you're a selfish person, you want your cake and you want to eat it too, <laughs> basically. Yeah, 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 you can say that. Okay, well, look at it like this, sir. Would you risk losing your main chick over this side piece? Nah. Well, then you need to leave that alone. You started having feelings, you know. She did the right thing by realizing, okay, he ain't going nowhere. I'm not going to be the side piece forever. We have feelings for each other because that could have got really messy and complicated. What if she got pregnant? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. And decided to keep it. Time heals all wounds, but you need to realize that, you know, what you have at home is better than what you had on the side, so you got to let that go. Yeah, yeah. And stop being selfish. All right. All right. I appreciate it. Good luck, bro. Sheesh. All right. The Breakfast Club.